Hello and welcome back everybody. Now this video is going to be a special video compared to all the other ones. This is going to be your milestone video. And while I, the reason why I'm making this a while or a milestone video is because basically up to this point if you watched all my videos and understood the concepts of these last 60 or so videos uh you can give yourself a pat on the back, go out and have a good time. Because I believe you can pretty much Google about anything on C++ and understand most of the syntax. But we still got a long way to go. This is not the last video. And essentially, uh, the last video, basically, I, I said it was a review of classes, but I think we have covered every single thing in just one video that we covered in the last 63 or 4 videos. We covered all the rules of scope. I mean, we've been applying them for a while. We're gonna see how those work. We made, we made. We're using functions now. We're using classes and functions together. We're including libraries. This is just normal stuff. And we go back to the main function. And we do a couple things here and there. But um, you know, the other thing that we didn't cover is the header files, and that's just. Uh, I'll just cover that real quick. And I want to say um on the next couple of videos we're going to be stepping it up a notch because we are going to because we're still not done with classes I want to teach you how to use classes in a more proper way than the way I showed you here this is more of the hillbilly version of using classes what we just learned but still you understand the concept of classes that they are objects they're custom object objects that you can make and they can be called over and over and over again you can create an arrays of them so you got characters, weapons, and not just limited to that, but you can make armor. And soon we're going to be learning, when we get to the standard template library, we're going to be learning completely new concepts. And by the way, I, I'm not going to be going over the uh, preprocessor commands in any of these videos. You can look that up later, because I don't think they're that important. But alright, so some of you think, and I agree with you, that you can have so many classes all on one page and you got a little main loop at the bottom and so it might be even tough to find this here so some of you may have got the idea to make header files and this is just a review to cover the header files so I'm gonna go I'm gonna what I did here I right click on the header full files here I went to add and I went to new item this time I'm gonna click a dot h file and you can watch this in the other tutorial I'm gonna call this uh I'm gonna call this weapon dot h and I'm gonna add it and that's it. Now it's here. So notice here I got these tabs at the top and you've seen these before. Hope you might have been using them, I haven't really been going over them. But I'm gonna take my entire weapon class and put it here. Let me say control C Backspace, backspace, just to delete it. I could have used Control X to cut, but I didn't. So here it is now. I'm going to paste it here now. My weapon class, just my entire weapon class, is in this header file, and I'm going to click the Save All. See the save? If I click Save here, it's going to look going to save my weapon. Dot H. But if I click this multiple disks, it's going to save all these that I have open up here. Then I can close this, but it's still there. Now. I can include by using the include um, preprocessor command. I'm going to put this in quotation marks weapon dot h. Now I've covered this in a couple. Of, watch the header file video. I covered this before, and I can still run this code, and it still compiles. It says there are builders. Would you like to continue? and it might be because I put this down here because remember that this is just the copy and paste of the text I think I gotta have it below the because I use them cout commands so it's gotta be below the using namespace std and look it still runs correctly after I included it below this because this member when you run any program the uh, computer's gonna read this code one line at a time and this is just the same thing as if I copy and paste the entire text that's right here inside this command. So the order does matter where you include these things, but and you may have done that with your class as well, with the character class, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to here, 
scroll down just a little bit, hold down the shift key, click here, control C, and you do the same exact thing, right click, add, and I'm going to call it just character. And this is more of a sloppier way to do this, but it keeps it a little bit more organized. Include character.h, it's right there. And if I run this code, and it still runs the same as it did before. And I can close these here. Because notice when you go, when you actually look inside your uh, project folder, you will see there are multiple H files. And you can even go make a completely different project and still include the H files from this folder if you type in the right uh, directories. But now they're in files though, but this is more of the still, still more of the sloppier way to do it. And by the way, I mentioned preprocessor a couple times, so I never actually explained it. These are the things, this is the stuff that goes on before the, uh, your program starts compiling. Before it compiles any other code, it goes through these here. And you can look those up, like the define, if not defined stuff. But I'm not going to get into that. But you can write some fun funky macros too. You can start writing macros with that stuff. But basically, what I'm trying to uh, point out in this video is that um, you don't have to have every single thing on one code. You can have it in multiple files, which is what we're going to be getting into. We're going to be getting into multiple files instead of just using one file. And it makes things easier. So, so you basically got the basics. <laughs> that sounds funny. You basically got the basics of C++ if you watched these last videos up till now from Lesson Zero to lesson whatever number this is, 63 or 64. It might change if I insert a video in a couple places here and there. So. so that's it on this video. And we're going to start getting more formal with uh, comments and uh, implementations, uh, declarations. And this is this is going to be the way, uh, what I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos, or from here on out actually, is the way things are going to be actually presented in a, uh, I guess, a more uh, ideal environment instead of just the way we've been doing things. But you still, you got the basics down. Uh, congratulations. And uh, we're going to step it up a couple notches. And we're going to essentially uh, learn classes again. But we won't spend as much time as we did this time. That was just to get the concept. But we're going to learn how to do the same thing, but in the more uh, formal way. So, congratulations, and I'll see you in the next video.